Keith Snydman here from Reality Based Fitness and Primalspeed.net. And what I want to show in this short video blog post, which accompanies the other 23 hours blog, my latest one, which has to do with stress, anxiety, and breathing, is I mentioned in the article or in the blog about how to measure your stress through measuring what's called your heart rate variability or HRV. It's been getting a lot of popularity in the last couple of years as measuring it has become easier to do. Some of the devices out there, something like the Omega Wave, cost thirty plus thousand dollars and there's some other devices as well which are really out of the league of uh, most people financially. So with a smartphone, uh, I happen to have an iPhone and I'm going to show you some of the apps that are available to measure your heart rate variability. Uh, one, the original one that's been out for a few years is called the Ithlete, which is made uh, in the UK uh, by a guy named Simon, who's an endurance athlete and has an engineering background, and he's come up with some formulas in there to measure uh, the variability between the heartbeats, which is what HRV is, through using a heart rate a monitor strap, and then there's a little device which you plug in to the top of the phone. So this device measures your heart rate variability through the little uh, this little device called the Ithlete that you put in here, and it's going to pick up the sensor. I'm wearing my chest strap right now, so once it once it picks it up, you can see there's my my resting heart rate uh, a little high right now, and I'm going to let it stabilize. Once it stabilizes, it'll turn green. And then I'm going to hit the, the button as a start. And it'll go for a minute. This is usually done uh, standing if you're fairly fit aerobically. I'm a sprinter, more of an anaerobic athlete. I don't really have a great resting heart rate. It has gotten lower over the years. In the last couple of years since I've been doing more uh, tempo work and aerobic work, uh, but still I, I tend to do mine uh, seated or lying. The key is to just be consistent with whichever measurement that you take. So I'm taking this in the afternoon. I already took my heart rate variability this morning and it was a little low because I had a really hard training session yesterday. It's typical scores will vary between 50 and 100 and you, you actually want a higher number when it comes to heart rate variability. Uh, if you're if you have a very low heart rate variability, it means that your your heart doesn't want to vary much through control of your autonomic nervous system. So there's my number 66. That's actually pretty low right now. Uh, sometimes I'm in the 70s and 80s, and it gives you options to save or not save. There's plenty of other YouTube videos you can find out there that talk specifically more about that. But I just want to kind of show you that's one way. Uh, and then there's another app which is created in conjunction with the same guy Simon who created the Ithlete but it's by Joel Jameson and he has a, his is called BioForce and these are available on the App Store through Apple or the Android Store if you have a Droid phone and it's the same kind of deal you basically just hit start this one lasts a little bit longer it's a two and a half minute test instead of a one minute so I think it's actually maybe a little more sensitive but they're both using basically the same type of technology to measure. Joel's uh, is a little more updated, I think, because it also measures how parasympathetic might be bad if you're too parasympathetic, which is normally we're trying to get more people out of being overly sympathetic or fight or flight and get them more into the rest and digest or parasympathetic part of their nervous system. So Joel's... Uh, supposedly measures a little bit more if someone is possibly too parasympathetic but in the latest Ithlete update I believe Simon has incorporated some of that as well so you can't really go wrong either way uh, the cool thing about Joel's if you buy his system uh, he's working on a, a very elaborate uh, book that's going to really incorporate how to use those scores the HRV scores to monitor and to change your training uh, I know the Ithlete is sort of originally designed more for like endurance based athletes. Of course there's plenty of non endurance athletes using it, Olympic lifters and weightlifters, power lifters and guys like me like sprinters. But I think Joel's is a a little more designed um, in mind of kind of like a complete athletic training, so it's not just endurance. The technology is similar, but he has a separate 
uh, book that he's still working on that should be done hopefully shortly here. It's uh, it's mid mid uh, May of 2012, so that's something to look at there. So okay, I'm going to stop. I didn't. I'm going to stop that there since I don't really need to take that. And I'm going to go to uh, some other devices that I that I found some some apps online. Okay, so now I want to go over some other apps that I found that help to monitor and measure stress. Uh, if you're really hard on cash, but you happen to have a smartphone, I found an app called the Stress Check, which I think was actually free, which uses the actual uh, camera on a smartphone to measure the, uh, I guess, the heat from the finger and the pulse going through the finger. It's kind of kind of kind of interesting, and it actually then tests your heart rate variability. So I'm just going to kind of show you how this works. It's not nearly as good as uh, the athlete or BioForce or using one of those devices, but what you basically do is just put your finger on it like that and you can see there it's got that little line that's going to start measuring uh, my heart rate here. You're going to see the the line stabilize here in a little bit and the normal configuration. You gotta have it just right though. And then it starts measuring. It usually takes about two minutes, maybe a little longer depending on how well you have it on there. And you don't want your finger to be cold. But it, it doesn't give you an HRV number, even though it's using HRV technology, but it just sort of gives you a percentage of how stressed you are based on what it's um what it's picking up through your uh through your pulse. So it's kind of Kind of an interesting thing, and then you and then you can save, and you can see over time kind of how it happens. So maybe for somebody who really doesn't have access or the ability to get the athlete or the BioForce, or most certainly the Omega Wave or something like that, you could use uh, this device, and uh, it's actually free, and it'll kind of give you an idea of how well your whole body is, is doing with stress. And stress is stress to the body, so even if it was a really really good stress, but really jack your heart rate up you might have it might show that you're actually you know stressed out but it could be you stressed rather than distressed so that's always something to think about it's not always going to be bad depending on how you interpret that stress but uh, this was a device that I found or an app that that actually works pretty well uh, for free and that's definitely something that you know will could give a lot of people the opportunity to sort of measure to see how they're doing with stress in their life and in their in their training.